these grand lines, these, this motif, this story, these characters who become bigger than life, being transparent to transcendence and being achieving union with these grand lines of the source, this personality, this pattern, this image, this symbolic richness that artists, of course, channel through their art and through their dance and through their songs and their stories and their films and, and all of us. That's the message of the Hour of the Shaman. All of our job is to live in front of others. That's all. Be a natural man, a natural woman, like this girl with this wonderful name, Rose of Sharon was her name. Rose of Sharon, this poor Oklahoma migrant in the promised land had just turned out to be uh, an empty promise. Suddenly, in that barn, in this deluge, she promoted herself. She became a goddess, just like the girl on the dance floor. That's the bread of life. That's what I live for. That's what we shamans live for. Those extraordinary unions with the source were out of this chaos and out of these minutia of everyday living, vivid clarity emerges just like out of this cloudy sky, there's this little opening, this shaft of sunlight bursts through this shaft. It blasts through and it pierces us. That's a grand line of nature speaking to us. When Don Juan, the shaman with Carlos, his apprentice, and Don Juan kept talking about the ordinary people in this ordinary world, all we see is the surface. But as the shaman, we feel the source's presence blasting through. This is our nourishment. This is the mystery, the wonder that Lao Tzu talked about, the wonder that is the source, the wonder that is the source's presence. That wonder of that moment with the girl and her mother and then nursing this dying man. It's, it's mystery. It, it's mystical. It's wondrous an irrefutable direct experience of the source's presence.